you're up. Scott, I got a lot of pressure on me. You didn't tell me that you were going to take a clip of last week and put it out there. I don't know how I how I got that honor, but uh, Mita, thank you for uh, doing what you're doing and spending time with us. I'm new to the group, and once again, I found this time um, extremely beneficial and educational. So, so thank you for that. Uh, initially, I was going to ask a question about the uh, inclusion of mental health into the workplace, but Andrew did such a better job of asking it. And I just, Andrew, I want to just say like, man, the, the vulnerability you just showed uh, is so inspirational and and just the, how in, educated you are about bipolar and the advocacy you want to bring to that uh, just inspires me. So thank you for that. Um, so I get to ask a different question. Um, Mita, Scott touched on you know, companies offering a hundred thousand dollar salary in effort to make five hundred thousand off of them, right? Uh, in in a way, and and as I listen to you speak, there's a a term I like to use, and that's leading with love. And everything you described essentially uh, exhibited that. So, how do you, as a leader, balance working for corporations as you have with the profit to to be made, with leading with love, exhibiting empathy? Uh, all of those things that money doesn't often allow for. And before I let you answer, I just want to say I love your idea of sponsorship. Um, I call my sponsors my board of directors. And so my board could come in and out and I have different experts on my board. So I'll leave it with that. But thank you again. I love that. Uh, thank you for that question. I prescribed to something that Dr. Maya Angelou once taught us is that people won't remember what you said or did. They'll remember how you made them feel. And so I really think about that every day at work. Like being a chief diversity officer is tough for all the reasons that you might suspect and some of the reasons that you haven't thought about. But a friend reminded me the other day, she said, well, what if you and your team weren't there? What would it look like then? And so to think about if I can make impact on individuals, and help them think about how they're showing up in a way that they didn't realize or help them think about how they could be lead, leading their teams differently. Even after I work with them, I hope that they take that with them to their next journey and workplace. And so that's what I really think about is being intentional with those individuals I'm working with because whatever corporation you're at, I cannot understand everyone's experience throughout <laughs> thousands and thousands of people who are working there, but I can try to make impact with the people that I'm connecting with. And that's what I really